guys welcome back today we are doing a really cool video today i just recently got a wild eye releasing package in the mail um from their annual sale and um i ordered 15 movies which is one full box um sorry if i sound a little bit hoarse and stuff today i have this little cold thing going on right now so uh just bear with me here guys but um I guess we're just gonna go and get, uh, hop straight into this. Um, the box is opened. I have all my movies, 15 to be exact. Uh, I'll just start from the front to the back. Uh, the first one we have, um, my dad had said this one was terrible. Um, just not good, really. But um, I had decided, you know what? I wanna get it um, because you know what? I'm a big Dustin Ferguson fan, and I've done stuff for Dustin Ferguson, so I uh, got it. It's called 5G Zombies, which it it looks okay. It doesn't look the best, but it, it's 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 cool. I'm glad I have it. Glad I own it. Um, I, at least I don't have to buy it again. And this was only ninety nine cents. Uh, a lot of the ones I got were only ninety nine cents. In fact, all of them except for three were ninety nine cents. So, but 5G Zombies was one of the ones that was ninety nine cents. Um, inside. Uh, pretty plain, but, uh, yeah, it's really cool, <clears throat> 5G Zombies, um, I'm gonna save this one for last, actually, I'm gonna put that one over there, I'm gonna get the ones that I actually spent, uh, more than 99 cents on, and just kind of put them, um, over there, which, oh yeah, uh, we got them all, so now, let me see, we'll do this one this one was sealed really weird but um this one also looks like the cover looks like i don't know it's weird but this one was 99 cents obviously um clown of the dead if you can see it like it's kind of bumpy and stuff like it's like you know i don't know what happened to it but it's something happened to it <laughs> there's the back uh haven't seen this but it looks cool clown involved so you know, I gotta pick it up. So there's the Clown of the Dead. Pretty excited about watching this. Alright. Um, here is, um... American Scarecrow. Evil is in season. Um, this one, um, I picked up because it looked just... Um, I did not pick up all of the 99 cent movies. Um, because I figured next year they'll probably be there and stuff. I kind of just picked up the ones that I wanted most. Uh, so, the ones that you guys are going to see are just ones that I prefer more than others, probably. But there was one movie, which I'll go over at the end, that I wish I would have bought. And that was two ninety nine, I believe. But I'll go over that at the end. Um, anyway. American Scarecrow. Um, seems like a really cool movie. Um, super stoked. Check that one out. This one's called Jack vs. Lanterns. Um, this one, right off the bat, looks amazing. Just, I, this was a no-brainer for me to get this, just because I, it, phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. And the inside's just the disc. Um, yeah, I'm super stoked to check that one out as well. The next one we have is Alien Prophecy. This one seems really, really cool. Um, the cover of it definitely is. I'm sure the movie is not near as good as the cover makes it look. Um, but it looks on the back. Doesn't look too bad. Is it about a ninja? The future of Earth hangs in the balance. A great ride into the beyond and back. They have always been here, is what the cover says. But, um, yep, that's Alien Prophecy. So pretty stoked to check that one out as well. An Evil Tale. This one was cool because it had a doll on it. It reminded me of Doll Killer, but it wasn't It wasn't there, obviously. Um, and they've already made three, so obviously. But that's super similar to the Doll Killer cover, which I have. Doll, the first Doll Killer up there. Um, I still need to get the second and third, but um, this is Evil Tale. Oops, An Evil Tale. Um, there's the back of it. Looks really cool. Is that an adult? That's an adult with a doll, so you already know it's about to get freaky up in here. Um, this looks really cool. Uh, I'm sure this is actually not. It's probably a really good film. This family is cursed. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to watch this one. Um, I'm excited for that one. Um, we have And Then You Die. This one I was kind of skeptical on getting or not. Um, I wasn't quite sure what it was or if I should get it because I just, I don't know. But I went ahead and picked it up. Uh, it seemed pretty cool. I did like the skull on the cover. Uh, that was really cool to me. But um, the name is kind of weird. But uh, I gave it a chance and I'm going to uh, check this out. And um, I hope it's as good as I'm hoping it is. Or at least okay. Um, I know it's not going to be the best. But you know what? I'm super excited to check this one out. This one I am definitely excited to watch. Um, this is a Dustin Ferguson movie. One of the uh, Dustin Ferguson movies um, that I got. of Other than 5G Zombies and blah blah blah. But uh, this one I'm super excited about. Because it's uh, an, one, it's an Amityville movie. Two, it's a clown movie. So uh, it's right up my alley. Um, is there really many clowns? Probably not. Um, but, yeah, I'm super excited to check this one out, and, um, probably my, one of my most anticipated movies that I ordered, uh, with this box, um, but it's, it's really cool, um, yeah, but I, what I really think is stupid about this is that Mark Patton is really big on the back of that, and I asked my dad about it, he said he's probably in it for about two minutes, um, obviously, you know why they did that, because he's, he's a big star and everything, but I just think it's really funny how they just put, oops, they put him on there, on the back, like, big and stuff, because, you know, he's such a big person, compared to probably other people, and he's only in there for, like, a snippet of the film, I just thought that was really funny, but, um, that's expected with these low-budget films, or lower-budget films, but, um, I'm super stoked to watch that. This one, uh, this one came with a clear DVD case. Um, this one's called Amityville Vampire. I'm super, super, super excited to watch this. I think, I, uh, I only got, uh, what was it, two or three Amityville movies. Um, I, yeah, it was, it was two Amityville movies. And, um, Amityville Vampire was one of them. Um, uh, on the back it makes it just look fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, amazing. Um, super excited to watch it. What's really cool is on the inside, I can go ahead and show you guys this. The disc is actually cool. It's different and everything. But if you take it out, there's an alternative cover on the back on the back of this. It's like you can switch it. There's that cover and that cover, which I'm not going to switch it. But you could if you wanted to, which is really sick. Really, really cool. And the disc is pretty cool, too. Um, but I'm super excited about that one. I'm sure this one is not a great movie, but I'm super excited to check it out. Of course, all these aren't going to be the best, but I know that. And I I actually like these movies, but uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't. This is Chris Massacre. Um, this one I was not skeptical on getting. I knew I was going to get this. It's like a clown Santa Claus. Look, like, look at that. That's what it looks like. It's like a clown. He has like the clown makeup on and stuff. That's really cool. Um, on the back, yeah, it definitely doesn't look like there's a, a clown Santa, or really a Santa in general, but I don't know, I might have to check it out. Looks like it's just like a person, and like a, I'm not quite sure, I'll have to watch that, but, um, that looks pretty cool. I'm super excited about this. I think it's my, I wouldn't say it's my first Christmas horror movie. It may be my first Christmas horror movie that I own, actually, um at the moment but there's the disc um, it has the the little like notch things this is the only one that i got that has that but that's i don't i don't really care about um i don't break them off like some people do but anyway chris masker stoked to check that one out this one is uh probably going to be a really really good one that i own now and this is one that i am super excited uh one of the, my most more anticipated uh, uh, pickups that I got this box was Doll Factory. Does that not just look amazing? I mean, wow. Just fantastic. Come play with us. That's what it says. That's that's amazing. All right. Well, the back. Um, Terror comes in all sizes. That is facts. Um, 
Let me open this up. Oh, and I love that disc. I love that disc so much. It's basically just a, like an army of dolls. It's just beautiful. It's just amazing. Oh, it's so bloody on the front. Oh, love it. Love it. Uh, this is the last of the 99 cent ones that I got. This one's called uh, 2020 Fallen Earth. Uh, what a name. You know, um, this cover looks like something that maybe Asylum would release. Um, as far as art goes, because, you know, Asylum does a lot of the, uh, like, Transmorphers, and, like, uh, they had this movie that I've been watching, I've been watching these Zombies movies, there's one, uh, Zombies 1 and 2, you guys should definitely check them out, they're actually really interesting, it's about, um, basically a whole bunch of, uh, zoo animals that go and turn into zombies and start, they, they they go wild, um, but this looks like an Asylum movie to me, but it's, it's a wild eye movie. But definitely, um, directed by Joshua Land. I've never heard of that director, um, ever. But I'm sure this isn't a bad movie. You can trust when the world ends. Or who can you trust when the world ends? I don't know. I'll have to watch that and see. Um, of course the disc is the same as the cover. But super excited about that. Um. Now we're going to get on to my two ninety nine dollars movies. I got three two ninety nine dollars movies. Um, two of which were Justin Ferguson's. And one of which was a Mark Polonia. Which I will show last. Because I'm a big Mark Polonia fan. Um, but um, as far as Justin Ferguson. I got a Bola Rex. Which um, was a no brainer for me. I knew I was going to get this. Um, right off the bat. Uh, Bola Rex. It says Terror is contagious which i do have an ebola rex poster up in my studio it's just up there um i would get it but i'm not gonna it's hung up like on the roof kind of it's it's hard to explain but um i do have a poster for this and i've had it for quite a while but i never had the film so i'm glad i have the film now and i'm su super stoked to watch it um as i said the director is dustin ferguson the back looks great as you can see there's some like little snippets of the film with the dinosaur it looks amazing and they're making a new one called Veloci or uh, Ebola, Ebola Raptor, I believe. Um, this one is another Dustin Ferguson movie called Apex Predators, which I did not have this film either. I don't have the poster for this one. The only, actually, actually I'll go ahead and say, the only Dustin Ferguson posters that I do have are Meat Hook Massacre, The Final Chapter, signed by Dustin Ferguson, Dog Killer 2, which I don't have the first Dog Killer movie, but I have... Um, Dog Killer 2 poster signed by Dustin Ferguson and two other people. And I don't have any of the Meat Heart Maskers quite yet either. But um, the other poster I have for Dustin Ferguson is Hell of the Screaming Undead, signed by Dustin Ferguson, which I do not have the film. And then Ebola Rex, signed by Dustin Ferguson, which I, now I do have that film. Um, and then, of course, Apex Predators, which I do not have poster yet uh, for that. I hope to get it soon, if he has one. But... Um, yeah, that's sweet. Um, super excited to watch that. But now we're on to the last Wild Eye movie that I got. That was $2.99, um, and was a Mark Polonia movie. Um, I do not have the first or third one of this, but I have the second one now. Because this is the second movie in, like, the trilogy. Um, but I do know Mark Polonia directed the second and third which they've not, they're just not making the third one. And the first one is made by someone else. Um, I don't, I don't know who made the first one, but it was definitely not Mark Polonia. But, um, I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, not only because I'm a big fan of Mark Polonia, but, um, Jurassic Shark 2 sounded super interesting to me. Um, Aquapocalypse. Um, it looks amazing. I'm sure it is amazing. I can't wait to watch this. Um, looks like there's dinosaurs in this. Or something like this. There's one on the back. Right there. So that's pretty awesome. It looks like the pretty um, normal cast. A lot of the same people. Which I like the people he uses. They're really, really cool. Um, I hope he doesn't change like ever. Um, looks like we have... Jeff Kirkendall is in this, so that's really, really nice. Um, you can never have enough of Jeff Kirkendall, but, 
the second time the chum. That is what that says. Sweet. But I'm super, 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 super excited. Check this one out. I don't know if I'm going to watch this yet until I get the first one, though, because I like watching stuff in order, because I'm a knucklehead for that. Uh, some people probably understand. Some people probably just, oh, what do you have? But anyway. Um, the other movie that I was going to get, which I'll go ahead and go over that now, um, that was two ninety nine. that I'm kind of sad I didn't get, was another Mark Polony movie. I forgot the exact name of it. It was a um, shark movie, like it was a, a shark movie in space, um, but uh, I I did not get that one. Uh, hopefully I'll get it soon, or maybe next year I'll get it during their next annual sale, um, but I am kind of sad I didn't pick that one up, but that's my bad, because uh, I did double check and made sure, and I was like, you know what, I think I'll be okay, and wait, and now I just wish I would have gotten it, uh, but it's fine. It's It'll be there next year. I'll, I'll be able to get it. It'll always be there. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And um, if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.